Let's get it. Yeah, so the aforementioned matchup that, that we named, uh, once again, it's going to be all about who gets into the first. But also just by virtue of having a little bit more mobility, Light's going to be able to gun some circles around riddles, right? Laser camp a little bit, dash back, um, and then be able to get punished maybe a little bit more consistently. But already riddles opening off with already 68%. Like, Terry, Terry's combo game is no slouch. And one thing that I'm really cons uh, concerned about for Light's sake is Riddle's ability to survive with Terry. Because where Fox enters that range of being able to struggle is he passed that 100% range. And that's where Go Meter goes active. Yep. And all of a sudden, Riddle's becomes that much more dangerous. Are they going to be looking for the jump in here? Able to safely land with back here. Terry not having the best out of shield options. Finds another really big back here, but one of the biggest challenges as Fox is actually getting edge guards. You don't have the most consistent tools as Riddles does end up getting back on. Excellent carry. That's going to be the jab into the upbeat. Okay, that okay. be enough to take it. Light wasting no time, immediately yeah. going in for the up smash, and that's exactly how he has to play this. Cannot let Riddles get any extra mileage on these stocks, especially if he's going to be surviving to those longer percentages. Really nice crack shoot, sets up the tech chase onto the platform, not able to find the extension, but just using this as like an unreactable mid-range option, Light is getting maybe a little bit too comfortable with Blazer. I'd like to see him play back more with Blazer, because this is a couple of times he's already been getting hit for it. Late hit of dash attack, able to connect, but Light not able to follow up. It's that easy damage that you gotta sort of cash in when you know you've got it and then peel out. Yeah. Okay, so really big issue. Really tries to go for the blue knuckle there. Uh, that was like a susceptibly like low amount of hand lag. But now Light has set up a bit of a juggle for himself. Is he gonna be able to catch this landing? No, he is not. Riddles is back down. And I love how patient and conservative Riddles is with some of his buttons. He's always playing second beat, always really patient. And when you consider the character that he's piloting, Really can't afford to hesitate with those buttons. You see him trying to put out that block pressure, but that's not real. Light knows it, taking advantage of it. Yeah. A really nice dash attack, but if that was the early hit, that definitely would have been able to kill. The but coverage on the jump, though? Yeah, well, that was a call out. You ran out of an evolving ability, you're going to get hit under the ledge. The only thing Light could have done in that moment was either roll back on, which I don't think you're really doing on a reaction to the downbeat, or you drop down. This is a set that's going to really test the oh, ability-making decisions of these players. Who pulls such a high-risk, high-reward option like that and gets away with it? Looks like Riddle's guys for game one. Damn. That's, that's just kind of like that kill power of Terry, right? As soon as he gets in there, as soon as he finds like a couple of neutralers and starts like his own link. Uh, I mean, his damage up, but it's so difficult to match, especially on somebody like Fox, right? So light, a fast ball, and it's a good as well. I don't, I don't think that Rob's was, so uh, big, he fits into the next set. All right, there you go. Hold him that. Even on two separate monitors, he overlays it to the next seat. All right, but it's Terry we got to talk about. And it's Terry we're seeing coming back into game two, looking yeah. really good. So we'll see what Light's response is. And his response is just six consecutive up are going to deal like 76. When you already tell you, when you already super heavy and you got a platform on dude, you just got to hold that. So I guess now is a good time to talk about the fact that Terry kind of struggles to land. Yeah, we haven't seen him really come into play, and of course he got a lot of landing and timing mix-ups, but oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, the autocorrect down tilt to make sure it catches? Missing the first one just is like, hey, you know what? I can press this again. I found my down. What are you going to do? Gets another one. Putting out so much damage. It's like free damage. Stuck at the ledge. Up smash. Not going to be able to kill. And this is that extra mileage that I was forewarning earlier. Like, look at how easily Riddles can further this lead. It's a 3-1 stock count. It's a game two. Like, has to answer for this. Yeah, no, he's, he's definitely going right now, right? Oh, able to find another jab. Not going to be able to actually connect at that time around. Good SDI and good air dodge. Light finally able to cut the bleeding a little bit, even it back up with a well-placed and timed F smash. Now, up throw tries to maybe set up a juggle. That would have been able to cover an air dodge, but Riddles ended up jumping away. Ooh, hold up. We are staying at the ledge if Riddles has anything to say about it, but really good DI keeps Light alive under how much longer? And once again, just the start of a bird knuckle. That's not oh. a hitbox you can contest with oh. at all. Damn. Okay. This match going a mile a minute like I was expecting, but Dara, this is not the way that I was expecting it to turn. Yeah, this is, I, I would have thought like it would be like a little bit more competitive from like this. Now, once again, because this is, um, you know, winning's top 32, you 
always have to keep in mind that this is a best of five. And I feel like Light's adaptations, Light's set play, is honestly some of the best. The way that he's just able to use his movement as set play, um, rather than maybe like some of the more traditional options, right? Like things like Sakugat side B, the way he's able to bait you and condition you with his movement. I'm curious to see what he pulls out this game. My concern for one of Light's greatest characteristics regarding that pace control is when he's facing off against an opponent that is just as good at controlling the tempo of the match with their movement, with their buttons. And ready this game, look how different it's starting off 120% off the riddles. He stuck the ledge, Light's gonna be looking for this kill. Light needed to be the one to move first, needed to be the one to put out that damage first. And it's a very different story right now. But Riddles still alive at 134. It's such a dangerous situation to be in because Riddles can equalize this damage so easily. Oh, and just like that one back here who is all that Light is going to need to be able to call out Riddles, being a little bit too anti getting back onto the stage, and he was just able to throw that out preemptively. But now the question is, can Light get back onto the stage, start some, you know, combos of his own, and down is definitely a tool to do it. Tech chases, follow-ups into up and, I mean, his damage output is looking amazing. Absolutely commanding performance on these platforms. There's no real safe space for Riddles to land, and that's extremely important. Yeah. But once again, you're going to be getting hit by your simple jab into upbeat. Really good stuff. Slim Riddles just being able to connect that. Now he's looking for the next big opening. Excellent whip punish. That's a dash attack. And then he's able to match out of this advantage. Not having enough hit stun. Oh, wow. Unrelenting pressure. This is what Light is known for. And now he's keeping the tempo at his pace. Riddles struggling to keep up right now. But all Terry needs is just a couple of hits. That's something to always keep in mind. But Light's option coverage, especially when you're going up against big bodies on platforms like that, your spacing on upper doesn't have to be super, super tight. Because if you aim it, you'll probably land it. I think the big thing here is that Light has had such a laser focus on controlling the platforms. And Riddles is just going right to them when he's trying to struggle for a oh. landing. But with the shield break, the forward smash from center stage ties up the stock count. Yeah, excellent shield with the Riddles. And once again, like an element of set play coming into fruition Bay. Able to catch the uh, landing with the up -in. And just like that, Light is going to be back in it, taking game number three here. Paris puts one on the board, but now he's got to make the whole run back on this one. And that's going to be kind of tough when you consider that the next couple of maps are going to be yep. off of Riddles' pick. I feel like the biggest thing that game was just Light did what Fox is good at which is juggling and catching landings and being able to shark you. Because even though Terry has like a lot of movement mix-ups in the area, like crack shoot and power dunk and then blue knuckle, and you're going to move like from side to side like that, at the end of the day, he's not very fast in the air. His buttons aren't like super disjointed, and Light is just able to really oppress him with how fast his jumps are, really able to get up there and chase him down, up air after up air after up air. I mean, his damage output this game and his ability to find those kills with up air was, you know, exactly what he wanted. Ooh. Game four bringing us to final destination actually makes a ton of sense when you put into consideration how much room this gives for that juggle game. Mm -hmm. and, and specifically the lack of platforms, Light loves those flat tech chases. Here it's all reaction, all taking advantage of that speed and control of the ledge, which Light hasn't been putting in the best yet so yeah. far. But he's keeping that damage game up and coming out the gate swinging is exactly how he managed to take game three. Oh my God. But Riddle's answer is back! Last hit is enough to be able to take it. Riddle's kind of blowing that one from under the rug. Now Light all of a sudden is playing through my back foot. He has the right idea, but then didn't fully commit. Even though crack shoot is exploitable, it has a susceptibly low amount of end line. Yo, that DI? Yeah, that DI looking amazing. Yeah, no, that was incredible, but Good DI can only save you for so long. It's a tight stock count and not that much damage down on Light. Look at how much distance Light is trying to keep from Riddles. Yeah. It's oh, making sure. any of the approaches that Terry has that much more easy he, to read. He slightly adjusted his mid range so he's just outside of crack shoot. And even in the ranges that he is, anticipating crack shoot, he's always going in with like a preemptive back here, just able to catch Riddles a little bit early. Now respecting at the ledge, not able to find the neutral late that time around. You really gotta respect that hitbox. Riddles needs to make it back onto the stage now. The question is how. He needs that hit confirmed. Oh. Or he could just throw out the power geyser. All right. I mean, that's an anti going to have. That move is really big. Light in no position to be able to punish that. So good spacing and timing through Riddles. Now just jumping in. Going to be able to find one back in. Whoa, where are we going? Where are we going? Apparently it's and awesome. now, no wake up supers in this house. Yeah, absolutely not. A little bit too much started up there. Light is just not having any of it. 
Yo, I gotta say, down it on shield is one of the worst feelings ever. Have you ever been hit by Fox down it on shield? I'm not trying to interact. I'm yeah. not trying at all, because that's just, that's Fox reminding you that he's the jail warden. Like he camp. puts you in block stun, he's ready to react to whatever button you want to press, if you can press a button. Yeah, why, why am I in so much shield stun every single time? But Light is definitely making, you know, that move work for them as much as possible. So Riddles, able to get it down though, not able to find the upper out of it. Big dash attack here, this could be uh, big damage. I like how Light tried to redirect a lot of his pressure to bring it back towards center stage because he recognizes that a lot of the reversals that Riddles is finding is off the ledge. Yep. Are you being a little bit patient here? Once again, down here, coming in so clutch, you can shield poke. You know, Kipachi dropping your shield a little bit too soon. Now with Go Active, Light needs to be so careful. He needs to play gently, going through a lot of jumps. And he jumps in, jumps out, just to bait it out. And he lives another day. Taking full advantage uh -oh. of the better movement that Fox has. But he's going to move himself Right into the loser's wow. bracket. That's a 3-1 victory for Riddles. But Terry looking nice as it moves along to top six. Okay. You know, at the end of the day, a lot of matchups can be made a lot easier for yourself if you're able to find parries. Fox is no exception to this. Well, I feel like Cloud's like another one of those characters because you don't find a lot of openings on Fox. If you don't necessarily have like the best jump callouts, right? You're gonna be forced to catching a lot of landings. It's quite difficult to catch Fox landings. But what Riddles did, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna play out of shield. Even if I don't have the best out of shield options, all I need is this one parry. And even if Light gets 10 of these falling neutralers, none of them are gonna hit. He was not in a percent range for up smash. So he just played back, he waited, and then he was able to find a lot of parry punishes like that. So really good stuff to Riddles. And then also just being able to take stocks off of pokes, like down tilts and jabs, as opposed to Light, who needs like a falling neutral or like a falling back to be able to close something out, which is a lot more committal. When you consider Terry's kit, that's one of the best ways to play him because he's getting mm -hmm. so much off of that one hit. His yep. combo game, relatively speaking to a character like Fox, mm -hmm. is you know, mediocre. You get your two piece in, maybe yep. your three piece if you're lucky. But otherwise, you're just sort of getting in that raw damage from wins and neutral. Yeah. That level of play just goes exponentially more dangerous when you consider go mm -hmm. because all of a sudden that two piece is ending with Buster yeah. Wolf. It's ending with power guys if like, you jump in. I really just died at 70. Guess I just got a whole bad skill issue. I guess. There's so much pressure. There, there are like a couple of SDI mixes that you can employ, but I'm gonna.